Today, we're making food for the gods, which is this fruit and nut bar that's a popular treat during the holidays in the Philippines. And it typically consists of dried dates and walnuts, but of course, we're gonna change the ingredients up a little bit just to try something new. And as a bonus, this is super quick and easy to make. So, why is it called food for the gods? Well, a bunch of people online are saying that it's probably because it's such a rich treat and it can be kind of sweet. So you're only meant to really have one bar. And it's also got luxurious ingredients in it, which are, which are the walnuts and the dried dates. But the recipe we're gonna make today is gonna be a little bit lighter and less sweet so that you can enjoy more than one. So let's get started. In a stand mixer with a paddle attachment, cream together one cup of melted butter and one cup of coconut sugar until they're fully mixed together. You can also use brown sugar instead, but I love to use coconut sugar because it's less sweet and also has a hint of coconut flavor. Oh, and if you do want this to be a vegan recipe, you can totally sub out the butter for coconut oil instead. Next, add in two large eggs and one half teaspoon of vanilla extract and just beat them in the mixture. By the way, you can make this recipe by hand. I just like using the stand mixer because it keeps my hands free. Then our dry ingredients. We're gonna add in one cup of sifted flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, and one fourth teaspoon of salt. Mix this just until the dry ingredients mix with the wet ingredients and then stop mixing. You do not wanna overmix this. Okay, after that, we're gonna dump in one cup of chopped mixed nuts. So I like to toast the nuts just a little bit in the oven to give them better flavor. And instead of just walnuts, we're gonna be putting in here cashews, two types of almonds, pistachios, and pecans. Oh, and hey, make sure that whoever you're serving food for the gods to is aware that there are nuts in here, just in case they're allergic. And finally, we're gonna add in one cup of mixed dried fruit, which is also gonna be chopped. And instead of the traditional dried dates, we're gonna be adding in raisins, dried cranberries, and dried apricots. So give this a quick mix just to evenly distribute the nuts and the fruit, and then we're ready to bake. Grab a pan, I've got a seven by 10 and a half inch pan here, and grease the bottom and sides with butter. Then place parchment paper right on top. This is gonna make taking out our food for the gods a lot easier after it bakes. Now pour the batter into the pan and then smooth out the top so that it can bake evenly. Okay, and then bake this in a preheated 350 Fahrenheit oven or 175 Celsius for 40 to 50 minutes. To know if it's ready, poke the center with a knife or a chopstick. As long as there's not a huge streak of wet batter on the knife or chopstick, then it's ready. This will actually continue cooking as it cools down in room temperature. So allow it to cool for about 20 to 30 minutes and then you can start slicing it into bars. Oh my gosh, I broke it. But that's okay, we can still work with this. This tastes amazing with coffee or tea and you can maybe enjoy it as merienda, which is a light snack. Okay, you wanna level up these bars even more? Go ahead and drizzle some nut butter on top. So here I'm putting on Spread the Love's Pure Cashew Butter. Psst, they're Filipino owned. So you typically see these individually wrapped in foil and colorful cellophane, or you don't have to use colorful cellophane, you can just use color tissue paper. And that's it, that's food for the gods. It's super simple, right? Well, let me know in the comments if you decide to make this at home. I have a few ideas. If you wanna play around with them, you can add dried mango, dried coconut, or even dried pineapple. I think those would taste really good. And also, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell right next to it so that you can get reminded of the weekly videos that I publish on this channel. And with that, I hope to see you guys here next week. Bye.